Hello everyone, welcome to Monkey Fish Channel. In this video, let's talk about Guandao. So it's another Guandao video. And I do not make this video because I am a weapon expert or because I am really good with Guandao. No, I make this video because many years ago I make a short video where I was swinging around Guandao and I put on the video information that I have no idea what I'm doing because I just borrowed this weapon and I just tried to look cool and this was it and I make this info on the video not in the description so everyone see that you don't have to go deep into the video to find out this no but still was some people who start writing weird stuff like try to do this with the real Guandao which weighed like 30, 50 thousand kilos <laughs> yes and I decided to read a little bit about it and I think most people who wrote this thing there are people who read only first or two lines of Wikipedia uh, article about this weapon and over there you can find it that this weapon could have 250 kilos but it was about the legends or novel and we know we all know that in the legends not everything is true but everyone who train with the weapons know that super heavy weapon is not really practical but yeah i decided to make my own guandao from the old pieces of some whatever i could find it and my guandao not this one weighed 25 kilos and spoiler alert it's not easy to swing this around now i'm going to show you some clips of crafting part how i make this uh, heavy one down and after that i'm going to show you how i try to recreate uh, the same form with the heavy one and later swing around with this weapon so you can see the difference so let's go There was some really heavy uh, guandaos, but they wasn't for the combat. There was a testing guandao to see the strength of the adepts in the military. In one of the Chinese museum, uh, you can find guandao which was over 80 kilos, but I am sure this weapon wasn't for the real combat. If you can see the old Chinese art with the warriors who was using Guandao, you can see most of the time that they're holding this weapon in one hand, like this, like this, or even ride a horse. And just imagine riding the horse with 50 kilos in your hand, probably one hit, you would lose this weapon, or even you would lose this weapon on the way before you get to somebody. But it's just my opinion, but I might be wrong i was here in china for some time and i was training with the chinese people i was training kung fu in the temple and if you look closely for the chinese martial arts then you can see that being fast quick and fluid is really important and with super heavy weapon you have nothing of that 
this is why I think the this weapon maximum could have it 15 kilos but most likely 8 to 10 kilos but if you really really wanna believe it that this weapon was super heavy then probably 15 kilos is a safe things to say to make this deadly and still practical but in my opinion it was 7 to 10 kilos maximum 15 not 19 not 25 and definitely not 50 why i think like this because even those heavy weapons what we think that they are heavy they are not that heavy because for example great swords like all like all long swords or great swords or you know claymores or swine hunters or every big sword is between two to four kilos they look heavy but they are not that heavy i think the heaviest uh, great sword was seven kilos so battle axe is also between one to three kilos so it's also not that heavy they like to show this in the movies or in the games that two-handed weapons are really heavy because normally the characters swing in them and they look like this like a that they go with the weight but the truth is a little bit different if you look for some weapon similar to one dao but more european version then we can look for the halabards and halabards are also not that heavy i think they weigh around 10 kilos i think they weigh between 7 to 10 kilos some of you might say that i could not use nicely my heavy one dao because i am too weak and maybe it's true but because of that i asked my friend who is much stronger than me who actually train in the gym lift heavy stuff to swing his weights around and tell me if he thinks that this would be useful in the on the battlefield and this is the clip what he sent it to me We both agreed that everything is not really practical to swing around. Of course, if you hit, probably you already kill the guy. But if you miss, you are the one who is dead. This is just my opinion. So, summarizing, I am not a weapon expert, but I tried to look for this uh, realistically, and this is just my opinion, you don't have to agree with this. So, this is it, thank you for watching, and see you next time.